Hi, welcome back to this channel. I'm glad you're here. Um, one of my overriding beliefs my entire life has been that many of the world's problems could be solved if people would just do what they say they're going to do. That's all, simple, easy peasy. So in keeping with that philosophy, I said I would put up a video every Friday. This Friday, I'm going to be out of town. I'm going to California to see my goblin grandchildren for Halloween. And um, so I won't be in town on Friday, but I've decided to do this today and set it up so it will appear Thursday or Friday uh, to keep with my word, what I said I was going to do. Uh, this week, I have worked on um, one of my goals, uh, which is strengthening the um, yoga studio, my studio. It's called my studio because I wanted my students to be able to own it themselves. And when someone says to them, where do you take yoga? They say my studio because it's theirs. I made it for them. So this week I sent out a newsletter, introduced this new um, YouTube channel, and the blog should be up before long. Uh, it's just commonsensical, ruthbailey.com. That's the blog. I thought I made up the word commonsensical, um, meaning common sense mixed with nonsensical. It would be kind of a cute combination. I looked it up and it's actually a word. Commonsensical is a word. It means like common sense. Uh, which annoys me because commonsensical is not really a word. I don't know what's happening to our English language, but that's beside the point. I did send out a newsletter, which is important for me to do to strengthen the studio and got several really nice responses. People were going over to, um, or coming over to this video channel and I got some nice feedback uh, from them. Thank you all, that was very nice of you. And so in keeping with that I'm going to post on Fridays, um, I must do it, or if I fall off the wagon, I'm gone, and I want to do this. So that's what I've done mostly um, this week for strengthening the studio, is letting people know about uh, this video channel and sending out the newsletter. So that's about it. Um, I worked on the other goals this week. Uh, also, I would like to just take a moment to send out my deepest and most heartfelt sympathy to the people um, of the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh. I'm just heartbroken at the, um, the massacre, the killing there. It just breaks my heart. And I feel as if, if it happens to one of us, it happens to all of us. And I know that hearts are breaking all over the United States at this. Um, to think of the one woman who came through the Holocaust and then to be killed in this manner is just, I don't know, I think I'm overusing the word heartbreaking, but it just actually makes my heart ache. I have one friend that couldn't get out of bed once she'd heard about it. It just, it shakes people horribly. And um, I mentioned in the newsletter that um, creating peace in our own hearts, in our own communities, in our own lives, is sometimes the best we can do. Uh, there was a beautiful gathering at the Bethel Synagogue um, this week. I didn't get to that, I feel badly. Um, I, I need to keep my ear to the ground more about what's happening when these kinds of tragedies occur and figure out ways to contribute um, even more than just my prayers in my heart. But anyway, uh, my heart goes out to all who've been touched by this tragedy and who hasn't. So that's that. And obviously I've not learned to edit yet because I'm kind of babbling here. But um, yeah, that's all I know. And thank you for tuning back in and thank you for all your kind uh, words about me on this crazy um, adventure. And um, I'll be back next Friday with more information uh, on what I'm up to. And I would love to hear what you're up to if you wanted to write how this um, circumstance in Pittsburgh has affected you and what you've been doing to soothe your heart and your soul. Uh, please go ahead and write it below and let me know. And um, yeah, and thank you. Thanks for listening and for tuning back in. And I'll see you next Friday. Bye now.